he wasn't able to get it so early in the match and instead got it a little bit later down on. But with that being said, we currently have TSM Zero versus Sam Sora on stream. All right, this is, uh, I don't think anyone thought this would be a loser's top eight match. <laughs> I think zero people in, this, in the stream chat, zero people <laughs> in the venue, none of the TOs, none of the commentators thought this would be our loser's side top eight. But here we have it, um, Samsora dropping a very close set to Zenodo. Very, oh my goodness, that set. I watched it here, uh, you know, sitting down, and I actually felt a little bothered. I felt a little bothered because I love Zenodo and I, I love Samsora, both a fantastic players with a strong neutral. But the fact that Zenodo had fallen out of the second dash attack, the second hit of dash attack, Peach's dash mm -hmm. attack, was so sad, considering that the second hit was is what has the most knockback. So that was going to close out the game for Samsora. And unfortunately, that uh, Diddy Kong up tilt that kills roughly around 130% was going to close it out there at such a high percent, closely to like 150 yeah, Both players had max they rage were, for sure. Yeah, they were, they were already gone beyond the point. And Zero, time. of course, somehow lost an even closer set <laughs> than that last set to Ned. And Ned, if, um, if you've been watching uh, the locals here, uh, Ignitions on Wednesday nights, on this stream, on rival tournaments. Oh uh, yes, I I I heard about that. Actually. Net and Zero have been playing sets in winners finals past two weeks, and they haven't really been close. Yeah, I yeah. Zero actually had run amok. Yeah, Zero what has been claiming those ignition thrones while he's been in the Midwest, uh, but it wasn't enough here at the regional. But now Zero going to continue his run in a loser's top eight versus Samsora on Smashville game one. A matchup that's actually pretty difficult for Peach to deal with. Uh, Diddy Fair does such a good job at walling Peach out, but Samsora keeping up to par with Zero right now on in the neutral, taking advantage of Peach's down uh, down tilt. You said both these players have very strong neutrals in the lead up to this game, and I think that's like just the best way to describe them. Mm -hmm. Samsora is so smart, has to use every single trick in Peach's back pocket to get like any kind of wins in the neutral because uh, Peach uh, generally considered like a middle tier character but yeah I mean mid high results. mid high roughly I've always thought uh, Peach is it within the top 20 possibly like 19 to 20 on the tier list uh, I had dabbled with the character back in the day um, she struggles immensely, but Samsora is just such a fantastic player and really represents a character so well oh my Ooh. goodness avoiding that back here with that jump there and Zero, this is this is the game he likes to play. It doesn't matter what character you are. He just puts you at the ledge and keeps you there. Gets the grab, not going to be enough. Yeah, fantastic DI from Samsora there. Zero leaves that banana and gets the roll with the up tilt. Going to take the stock. In a similar situation there, uh, Samsora actually had a grab the banana with Fair from the ledge. Oh my god. The Geo combo coming to play here in top eight. And Zero going to continue his wall, like you were saying before. Using that fair. Doesn't really care too much about float cancels, it seems. Yeah, I mean, Diddy Fair really does not let Peach float cancel at all in front of him, or fl whole float in general. Um, being able to pressure with down air uh, in the neutral is more efficient if you're by the ledge, like we're seeing right now. Samsora just pressuring Zero, getting a dot phase. Oh, but unfortunately, he's not going to hit Zero. Zero's doing something really cute here at the ledge when he's getting back on these recoveries. He's dropping that banana, and he did like a reverse banana pull. Because you'll see Peaches, they'll, they'll just float at the ledge, not even let you grab it and throw out a neutral or continue the edge guard, or even get the gimp that way. Um, that reverse banana pull hits Samsora in the hit stun and gives Zero an opportunity to recover. Excellent tech coming out. Zero always just brings interesting style of Diddy Kong play. And Zero being a, such a smart player, especially by the ledge, as you mentioned, that's always where he seems like he's the most supreme. Mm -hmm. His uh, his reaction time is unheard of. And funny enough, I actually have not been seeing that that often, at least in this set right now, in this first game. Samsora doing a fantastic job at just remaining in the center stage and kind of holding his own in the neutral. Whoa, quick 30% off of the one turn up. Big damage coming out here for Peach. And uh, yeah, you're right, she's slowing it down. That monkey flip though will buy zero, maybe another edge guard opportunity. Nope, not yet. Falls right out of, of Smash. Some, sometimes that just randomly, ha not randomly. I, I feel but, like but it has to like, do with weight. Yeah, sometimes that happens due to due the weight properties, but that was just because Zero was at the ledge when he did it, and Samsara was able to drift uh, away. Something similar uh, that we saw between the last set and this set uh, was at uh, Rich Brown and Mewtwo, very light, and Peach, very light. Mm -hmm. Floaty as well for both the characters, so very similar properties, but that up tilt is going to do it. Zero was looking for that for quite some time already on that last stock. Yep. Peach also pretty light. 
that uh that works out pretty well for Diddy Kong's favor in the matchup. Um, and you know it's just always so useful that Diddy Kong has that up tilt in his back pocket. It's just such a good move. It's not a movie spam. It's not like a like a forward air where it, like helps you win neutral. Yeah, no, it's just. You're at 130, and I have a move that can take care of that for me. It comes out super quick, and it just cleans up cleans up stocks when you can't find like the down tilts, or you can't find like an edge guard or things like that. And uh, it's just like not every move in your character's toolkit has to be super useful in the neutral. You you like you really like having just those in your back pocket moves. Yeah, normally when I hear that uh, a character has something that could take care of uh, your opponent at 130%, I think to myself, okay, so it's like a grab, right? Oh, no, it's like Link's tilts <laughs> 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 or like Diddy Kong's up tilt. The fact that uh, Diddy Kong can take advantage of, uh, you know, down tilt so often and, you know, rolling, taking advantage of Diddy Kong's roll, also really good um, into up tilt. It's just so easy to close out those pesky slots that you just can't close out otherwise. Mm -hmm. It comes in handy, especially when you just know you've got a, a read in your back pocket or you can react. Like, Zero, Zero's reaction is so good again. Like, there's so many situations where you see Zero go for, like, some kind of tech chase option, and he's just like, no, I reacted to it because the, the kid is a god. He's been playing Smash for so long. His neutral has developed over the years, as uh, everyone already knows. Um, so he's bringing all this player knowledge, all this background knowledge into Smash 4 um, while fighting all these new opponents. So it's always so interesting to see um, wh where he nitpicks his positioning on the stage. Mm, and all right, here we go. KK Slider going to join us. Oh, wait, no. The stage is empty. Oh, where is KK? <laughs> KK forgot his show. <laughs> It is? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, we're going to go on. Show must go on. Game two, back at Smashville. Diddy Kong again in a pretty good spot. Going to even up the percent in this early goings. Just looking to cross up on this shield. Monk Flip closing the gap. Big damage. Can, can, oh, wow. Okay. Can Samsora make it back? Zero is just doing such a good job at those walls of fears coming in, making sure Samsora struggles on trying to DI back to the stage. Zero, all right, taking his time. Down tilt and waiting for that shield, getting another grab. All that banana down tilt at the ledge is very scary. I'm just seeing Samsora kind of struggle a little bit. We're gaining control over the neutral. Trying to find his comfort right now. Like, I'm, I'm struggling to see, like, the easiest way for, for Samsora to clear bananas. Like, we saw Rich Brown using that down tilt mm -hmm. as a very effective An up -tilt, tool. tilt, yeah. But it looks like uh, Sam Sword is going to go for grabbing the banana on his own. And there's that edge guard opportunity. I don't even know how Zero snuck in there. Um, unfortunately, Sam Sora had used Nair a little bit too early, mistimed it just a tad bit. And Zero was able to slip his way back onto the ledge invincibility that you know, the ledge has for him. And that up tilt again, just coming in the perfect clutch here for the D Kong main, represented by Team Solo Mid, taking a big stock here in game two. But now, TSM Zero finding himself on the ledge. Samsoro coming with that back air, completely stuffing out Zero's way of making it back onto the stage. And one of the, I think we, we kind of talked about it a little bit in the Rich Brown set again. But like, it feels like understanding the Diddy Kong matchup is really understanding Monkey Flip. And Samsoro had a good lock on those Monkey Flips while he was in the ledge, disadvantage situation. But here comes Zero again. That was a really good air dodge that he did from the Umbrella. And uh, he still ended up getting hit by the last hit of it, but that would have been a very scary situation to be in. Umbrella being so strong, but that fair, regardless, it was going to take his stock. Zero gets his banana back. Good catch by Sam Sora. Of course, both these players masters at item play. We're going to see a lot of those back and forth with grabs and, and catching and throwing and all sorts of things like that. And something that I'm continuing to see Zero punish Samsora for, every time Zero's away from Samsora and he sees that Samsora is in the float animation, he constantly monkey flips to that command grab. Mm -hmm. The command grab, super useful. One of, one of the most useful command grabs in the game. Probably the, the best side B in the game, arguably. Yeah, we, we could get into that. <laughs> oh, we, we, could, we could talk about that for like hours. <laughs> but back throw here, not going to be enough. Zero continuing this pressure on the ledge does not want to let Samsora out of that taxi platform. Samsora just mixing up his way of making it back to the ledge. Ooh, good coverage here by Samsora. Trying to take this advantage state and ride it out. But ooh, going for the banana gets punished. I think Zero is sharking for something there. Yeah, waiting for 
an opportunity to land that back air. Oh, Dragon close to the DI mix up there. Samsara probably thinking he was going to do back throw. And Zero, so patient. Gets another grab. Will that do it? There it is. That's the stock gone. And a 2 0 lead here for the number one ranked player in the world. Again, surprisingly in the lower bracket, but not showing any uh, worse for wear for it. Yeah, versus arguably the probably the best Peach right now mm. in NA. Uh, Slayers, of course, is another very notable Peach main from Southern California. Uh, I don't think he's been out to as much stuff. He hasn't. I've, I actually had followed up on Slayers for quite some time, and I know he dabbled a little bit in the beginning of Smash 4. I just don't know if he's continuously participating within the game, but he was a very, very strong Peach player in the Brawl days. I was happy to see him at Midwest Mayhem Saga, okay. where he teamed with Sam Sora, the double Peach team. And That's right, placed, I remember that they actually. They very highly. I think they got maybe second to... I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try. If someone knows the results of that, tweet it at me. Help me out. Uh, I will happily. We relay saw it on some stream. double umbrella shenanigans there. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> but here we are, game three, zero up by two already on Samsora. And again, I've, I feel like we haven't seen many of these turnips. Like there has been really little time for Samsora to pull turnips, and even now that one chance Samsora got to pull a turnip is pretty hard punish. That's still continuing with this advantage state being pressed here by zero. Yeah, Zero's pressure on the ledge being extreme right now for Samsora. I'm seeing a lot more often this game especially. That, ba that banana on the ledge doing its job, getting the trip, but no big follow-up here for Zero. And the turnaround, this is a scary spot to be in. Misses that ledge guard there. Wanted to go for the fair, fortunately misses. Ooh, gets the air dodge read, but unfortunately miss spaces it. Zero again, we find him in this state of advantage. Uh, same sort, kind of trapped. All right, gonna sneak back out, retreat to this neutral. Nice steal of the banana, but you're gonna pay for it with that back air. Whoa! Aggressive barrels from Zero. I like it. And Zero again la lays his little trap at the ledge. Just waiting it out. Float canceled. Getting Sam Sora onto the stage. Samsora now having stage control. Can he retaliate back to the ledge pressure Zero was providing on him earlier in the game? Apparently not. He makes it back onto the stage. Samsora kind of just drifting away from there, not really pressuring him as much. Oh, okay, nice uh, fall into the state. I feel like that was on reaction to the monkey flip. Uh, and using just like the, the way you lower your hurt box there to sneak under the, the hitbox. Yeah, box. so that way he doesn't get grabbed again. But unfortunately, the landing is caught. Another up tilt stock coming in the clutch. Hitting the banana out of Samsora's hands with that forward air, but gonna get juggled a little bit. Zero takes his time to get back on stage. Samsora gonna look here. Okay, again looking for that neutral air. Zero sneaking in. That timing's a little off. And constantly mixing it up with the jab. Always on the shield whenever he does the down air. Down air being so safe on shield whenever Peach is floating above him. Excellent DI here from Zero. That forward smash not going to clear the stock. And now this is a chance to get some extra credit percent. Now this is the part where it really could struggle sometimes on making it back to the stage versus Zero. And can Simsora close out this one stock? And as I said that, taking it with a fair. The excellent fade back from Sam Sora, knowing that Zero would try to continue the pressure counters it beautifully here. And now Samsora needs to get on the board to keep his bracket alive. Remember, this is loser goes home. Yep, that's it. And it's Zero really showing strongness right now, especially after the bracket he had today. Yeah, his, his bracket was an interesting one, as it turned out, but uh, he's looking to make it more interesting and keep it going. Whoa, okay, we got a conversion wow, here. Wow, Samsora easily 66% Right out of that, Samsora just making sure Zero struggles on landing with all that up air pressure. And all right, this is this looks like Samsora's time. Looking to get a forward throw. Knocking Zero back into the corner, but Zero gets the grab. Up air, not enough. And right now, okay, Samsora taking his sweet time on landing, knowing when, when he touches that ground, that banana is waiting. Is definitely anybody's game right now. Samsor really showing a stronger presence this game three. 
compared to the last two that we were seeing. Same sword gets the win in neutral he needs, and now it's an edgeguard situation. All right, Zero will make it back onto the ledge a second time. Monkey Ooh, trying flip to get his again. two frame with the down air there, but he's going to get punished with that monkey flip. But what? Whoa, okay. Oh, that makes me so sad. Peach being so light, dying at 120, but Zero did have rage there, so that was going to help him out in closing out that stock with up tilt. Um, fantastic show, though, from Sansora that last game. Stronger presence than we see the other last games. Mm -hmm. And that up tilt just apparently uh, turning out to be a great option to deal with floating. Like, if, if Sansora tries to float in, just the up tilt comes out so quick, the you have time to stuff any of those options. The problem when um, Peach is stuck in flow is you're essentially eliminating the option to hold shield. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable state in doing so. And when you're at kill percent, it could really cost you the game as we saw right there, um, getting up tilted for it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm.